Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my video channel where I make videos. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so this is a video that's probably the most requested thing I could ever make, and it is a collection video. You guys have been asking me to update my Monster High collection. I haven't made an updated Monster High collection video since, like, geez, the last time I made one was, like, in 2018, I think. And it's been a while. I haven't made an updated collection in a very long time. But I recently reached 44,000 subscribers, which is pretty big for me. Never thought I would even reach like 10,000. So the fact that the number keeps rising is shocking to me, to say the least. So I figured I may as well give back. I promised that I would do one when I reached 40k, and then I didn't. Life and stuff happened. So today I figured, why not finally do it? Unfortunately, this is a thing that would take a very long time because I collect a number of different dolls. I collect Ever After High, I collect Monster High, Bratz, Rainbow High, My Scene. It's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna have to break it up by doll line. And I figured the easiest thing to do today would just be to give you guys a general tour of my doll room. Since I've run around with you guys in it before, but I've never officially told y'all what goes where and how I keep things organized enough. So with that, let us begin the grand tour of Lizzie's doll room. That's me, by the way, I'm Lizzie. So with that, let us begin. So obviously we start at the door. This is the entrance to the room. You turn and when you walk in, you're greeted to all of this. It's a lot. The floor is much cleaner than it has been in recent times. I do need to run the vacuum through here again but this is what you see when you walk in. I'm sure you're wondering what all this mess is, and I can explain. These are dolls that I desperately need to clean up. They are incomplete, they're naked, they need to be washed, she has dirt on her face. Well, those two are a little dirtier. I got them at the flea market this weekend. So these dolls are the ones that I need to clean up. I leave them here because sometimes I walk in here and I remember, oh yeah, I need to clean them. These are things that I'm selling on Mercari. I keep them over here because it's like, it's easy for me to remember where they are if they do sell, or when they sell, you know? I've got this big lot of furniture, I've got this Claudine and this Chloe who are also for sale on my Mercari, and I keep them over here. Behind them are some of my storage drawers. Like in here is where I keep doll clothing, primarily Monster High, but there are a couple Bratz pieces in here. So it's a bit of a catch-all for my doll clothes. Helps me clothe my new dolls. Up here is where I keep all of my Monster High diaries, which, um, as a longtime collector, I have a lot of diaries. I have so many. Widona's diary is really good. So, I also kept some DC Superhero Girl stuff in here. I keep some artworks. Just a lot of stuff in general, pretty much. I also have my Bratz Spider-Man accessories here, because I did get Chloe complete. Even down to the 15-year-old Toxic Lip Gloss, which, by the way, if I could get it open. I, I can do this, I know I can. I just have to, just have to figure out how to grab onto it. Oh, yep, still smells like shit. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh yeah, on the top I keep some other important stuff like my sewing kit in case any of my doll's clothing or my own clothing rips. That's right, I do my sewing in here. I don't know why, I just do. I've got my Laguna Fashion Pack card, I've got all of my Bratz jewelry, I keep Gulia's scooter up here, as well as a little Mycene McDonald's toy. I keep Abby's bed here temporarily, I'm looking for a better place for it. I also have this dish that just has a bunch of stuff in it. I, I just, I used to have that under the table that I used to keep here. But I don't have that table anymore, so I put some of the stuff on top of it while I look for a new place to put it. I've got this Cleo artwork from when I got her. I've got her little card that goes with her as well. And I have Abby's card. I didn't think that was Abby's. I keep the school here because I really like the school. And if I ever want to make like a video that's like a sketch where I do the voices for the characters and stuff, it's pretty easy to get to right here. Um, inside Draculaura's organizer, well, Gorganizer caboodle, I've been keeping all of my G3 accessories. As well as Avery's wig. 
because I don't know where else to put it. When I move this, you can see all of my G3 accessories underneath. And I've been meaning to add more to it because I've got Twyla's stuff now, so I'm just gonna grab onto all that and drop it in there. This thing's pretty good for storing your G3 stuff, primarily because it is a G3 thing. So if you do get it, I recommend using it for that purpose, unless you actually want to put makeup and stuff in it. It's your choice, that's just how I keep things organized. Right next to that, I keep the dolls that I have not yet unboxed, as well as this extra Draculaura, because I am very much contemplating replacing my original killer-style Draculaura with her. Let's face it, she's in perfect condition, and my killer-style Draculaura is not. So, um, very much thinking about it. Like, look, even her elastic legs work perfectly. They're holding a pose. That's... <laughs> That's crazy for a doll as old as she is. But yeah, this is where I keep my unbox stuff, like my Bella Parker, my Phaedra that I got on sale, and Kiana. I'm going to unbox these things at some point. They will get videos at some point, but I have not been feeling up to it, so I just haven't done it yet. I also keep some random stuff just sitting around, like these two Operetta dolls, these two brats, my extra Kiyomi, whose hair I still need to fix up, and my Roxy, whose face is completely engulfed by Sasha's hat. Moving on from that, we reach this shelf that used to be my OMG shelf before I put them all away into storage because I don't really care for them anymore. Overall, this shelf has just kind of become a catch-all. I just kind of put random stuff in random places. Like, I've got some tots down here next to my Royal B. Behind Lola, we have some more OMGs. And three Shadow High dolls are in the back with other random OMGs in there. Like, this shelf here is just completely disorganized and I need to fix it up but I haven't found the time to yet. If you guys would like to see me do that on video, I totally can. This is a Monster High shelf currently, and despite me having the window closed, light still shines on it, so, you know, it's not fun. Fortunately, none of my dolls have ever become sun damaged from that, so, yay. It's kind of just a random catch-all once again. I just put a bunch of random Monster High dolls over here. I moved a lot of my Rebecca's here, because the Torolai shelf is becoming more Torolai centric and Rebecca no longer has a place on it. So, that's been fun. I also have some other dolls sitting here who I do not have stands for. I also have these three sitting down here in front of some of my OMGs and some of my original Rainbow High dolls, because once again, I don't know what to do with them. Here's where I keep some more of my tweens as well as some of my tots. And down here is just a bunch of random Monster High dolls. Just a ton of random ones in here. I don't know why they're in here, I've just never taken them out. I also have two Mycene dolls here. They're both Delanceys, my Icy Bling, and... I actually don't know which one this is, somebody just traded her to me. I also have my Ulala Kumi right here, as well as some other random accessories that I need to figure out what to do with. These were supposed to be in the clothing bins, why aren't they? I've got my Scaris car, a haunted brush, and here is my Ever After High shelf. As you can see, those were never After High. As you can see, it's very full. <laughs> I have a lot of Ever After High dolls and not much storage for them. So I just kind of cram them all in here. You've got the Ferris on Ice girls at the front, but you can barely see them behind everyone's fucking feet. There's Melody over here. There's Dexter over there. Just... All my dolls are up here. I mostly put basics up here, but there are some from other lines. Like, of course, the ones at the front aren't all basics, but I've also got my Heartstruck Cupid hiding behind Briar and Faybell. So, you know. Once again, it's just a setup that I have and I've always kind of liked, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. We got my Claudine and Draculauras up here. I figured it was easiest to sit dolls on this shelf because it's not very tall, so yeah. Behind them, we have some of my mom's old Barbie memorabilia, including a Barbie ornament and two Barbie plates. Fun fact, this room used to be my mom's Barbie room. The walls were lined with Barbie dolls in their boxes. And then one day I started moving my dolls in here and before you know it, I took over. Yeah, I think it was easier because I was a kid and my mom was like, oh, it's okay, she's like 12. Well, now they're 19 and have a problem. I keep my other Draculorund. Claudine dolls up here, including my flea-marketed <laughs> Newman Box Claudine. She was $15 on January 7th of this year. That was a really fun find. I was- I almost fell over. I've got my big Madame Alexander Harley Quinn, who I found at Tuesday morning. My Monster High backpack. I've got my unrebooted Claudine. My collector Draculaura. 
got this lamp for light. And on this wall, my mom has one of her Barbie outfit packs, but I also have some of my artworks that I've cut out and collected throughout the years. Some of them have fallen onto the floor though, so I need to replace the tape. I still don't know where the Accursed One's artwork came from. This is my childhood Barbie dream house. I tried to revamp it when I had no idea what color theory was and ended up making it really ugly. This floor is a hideous color and the paint is very thin. I painted the toilet silver and didn't do a very good job. But I also keep the Ever After High bookstore, shoe store I meant, playset in here. The shoes all fell over, but I keep it in here. I also have Casta's microphone in here for some reason, just a lot of random stuff. This seems to once again become a catch-all area. I've got some other dolls chilling over here. My emo-fied duchess, because I used to do that. My formal funk Chloe that I don't know where to put because her dress is so big. My extra Torali, because she has a different face variant. My Pinkie Pie Equestria girl. Fun. And my Harley Quinn custom. I also have some junior high dolls, a Rebecca, and my broken neck Daphne. Not neck, it's her arm. Broken arm Daphne. I also keep Cameron Van Buren over here because I love her. On the bottom floor of the house, I've just got some random rainbow high dolls, like we've got Mara, we have Jade wearing Mara's outfit, we have Apple's bed with two tots on it, the Bratz chair, got Emmy. Her arms were very messy. They had a lot of staining on them from her jacket, so I just kind of covered her up the best I could. The kitchen over here has Claudine in it, because I really love dead tired Claudine, so I, I have like two of her. I also have these Monster High McDonald's toys that I got recently. Like this one's a Rubik's Cube of all the characters. Pretty cute. I got this over the weekend at the flea market. It came bundled with some dolls that I bought cute. I like all this stuff. And I've got Cupid. She is naked and I had to repaint part of her eyebrow and I did an awful job. This is my newest shelf. I shoved a Bratz Rock Angels poster under it for some reason, but this is where I've been keeping some of my dolls. And this is how things look on it so far. My mom bought this midge and asked me to keep her on top of the shelf, so we've been doing that. I found the Pretty in Punk phone booth at the flea market for five bucks, so I put it up here with some of my dolls. And I didn't know where to put Tall Neonlicious, so I just put her up there. Over on this wall, we have my first ever doll shelf. The reason I've kept it for so long is because it was the first shelf I ever had to put my dolls on, so I just don't want to get rid of it. I've got my newly thrifted Torali right here, as well as all my other Torali's and a singular Rebecca because that was the first Rebecca I ever got. I'm very nostalgic for her. Uh, fun fact about Torali. This was my first ever Torali. Power Ghouls. Followed by Fear Leading Squad and I believe then it was either Coffin Bean, no this Coffin Bean doll, or Ghoul Sport, Ghoul Spirit, I don't remember which one it was. It was Ghoul Sports. Yeah. We have my other shelves, of course. I'm not going to go over every single doll because that's what the collection video is going to be for. I keep some of my posters over here. And these two Bratz dolls that I've had since childhood just kind of chill in the corner. My mom used to have them in the box, but she let me open them for some reason and she's always been like, oh, I shouldn't have let you do that. And she's right, she shouldn't have. I lost a lot of their stuff. I also have the Rock Angels car. I, I meant Space Angels. Here's where I've been keeping more of the stuff that I'm selling on Mercari. Once again, it's just easier to keep them all in one place. I just go and pluck them out. I also have a bunch of random dolls in here. Most of these came from the thrift store. Some of them did not. Like this Spectre came from the flea market, actually. No, no, she came from... Burlington. I got her at Burlington. I have some more stuff in here. This is where I keep my remaining DC superhero girls. This is another shelf. This is where Lizzie and Courtly hang out. This is where I keep my fashion royalty dolls and two other dolls I don't know where to put. And that's my Mycene junk drawer. This is another recent shelf I got. Um, this was actually something that one of my friends was throwing out, so I picked it up and I've used it to display some of my dolls. I keep some Bratz, I keep some Mycene dolls. Just kind of all sorts of assorted things on here. I put Monster High on the top shelf. 
And then that leads into my Bratz shelf, which is an actual Bratz shelf. There's a Bratz artwork on the side of it here, and it says Bratz behind where Peyton and Nevaeh are standing. I just keep a lot of random stuff on here. Just a bunch of dolls that, <laughs> and I got the Ruxies up here. And these are my two main shelves. Main, where I keep everything. This is my Comic-Con exclusive shelf, but I do keep a couple Comic-Con dolls up here, such as Wonder Woman and Cheetah, Raven. I've got Katana up here, as well as Rebecca and Hexakaya. And up here is just kind of where I keep some more random stuff. There's a couple inbox dolls hidden behind the tall ones and the other dolls that are up here, but as a whole, that's what this shelf is for. Just holding the main components of my collection. There's an Ever After High shelf here. It's completely dedicated to Ever After High. There's no Monster High dolls to be seen here. This is where I keep my Haunt Couture dolls, just kind of special dolls in general, like um, Halliday Draculaura, PTMI Candy, uh, the mermaids that I didn't know where else to put, apparently. There's Headless Headmistress on Nightmare. Got my Sweet Scream Schools, some other dolls. And that's about it. With that, we've reached the end of my doll room. We're back where we started. So, that's just a quick overview. I obviously didn't go over this area, which is another primary area where I hang out. This is my filming spot most of the time. Like, I film right here. I don't know why. I just like it as a background, so I've been using it for years. I keep some dolls on here just because I don't know where else to put them and I don't want them to be on the floor. And then these are the ones that I do keep on the floor because I haven't decided where they should go yet. Oh yeah, that's my, this is my Bratz collection. I keep these two posters here because they have Roxy on them. See, that's Treasures Roxy and that's Princess Roxy down there next to Fiona. I keep a lot of Ever After High box artworks here too. I used to cut out the artworks a lot when I was younger. I like the way they look, so I have a bunch. You can see which dolls I got in box and which ones I didn't based on this, but I basically got all my Ever After High dolls in the box. Oh, and then of course there's the closet. And this is just a big storage unit. There's a lot of dolls everywhere inside of all of these boxes. There's a lot of other boxes. It's fun in here. It's fun. We go through it regularly to prune stuff, you know, cut down on the collection, but we don't usually have to because it's in storage. And with that, we're done. That's my full doll room tour. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been collecting since I was like 12. 12, yeah. Since I was like 12, so I didn't build this up overnight. I've gotten a lot of these dolls throughout the years, except for my brats. My brats kind of did amass within <laughs> two years, so you guys can make fun of me for that. I collected brats way too fast. But everything else, my Monster High dolls, my Ever After High dolls, this is years in the making. I've bought dolls since I was a little kid. I've gone thrifting for years. So there's a lot of hard work, effort, and a lot of money put into this. My dolls are important to me, and I'm very proud of each one that I have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one.